there's a cool new feature in iOS 14.5 where you can share lyrics from your favourite songs straight to Instagram and other places. Here's how it works. To get started, I'm going to jump to a song in Apple Music. Now, because we're on YouTube, I can't play any of this song, otherwise I might get a copyright strike. But if you know it, hum along in your head as I'm doing the video, that'll make it much better. I'm going to choose some Bob Dylan, and we're going to tap onto that bar at the bottom which shows which song is playing to bring up the Now Playing screen. From here at the bottom, there are some small buttons. The left-hand button here will bring up the Live Lyrics feature, which was new in iOS 13. And if you haven't used it before, it's really cool. It will basically scroll through the lyrics automatically as the song is playing, so when the singer or singers get to the correct line, that lyric will show up in bold in the middle of your screen. But there's a new feature in iOS 14.5 to make this even better. So as you're listening to the song, and as those lyrics are scrolling along, or even if you want to manually scroll through the lyrics to jump ahead or backwards in the song, you can then find the lyric you want to share. From here, you're going to long press on the particular line, and that will open up the share sheet. But there's a slight twist here, because at this point you can choose to share more than one line of lyrics. Maybe you want to share a couple of lines of your favourite song. And you can share as much as you like, as long as it fits into a 150 character limit. So tap on the selections that you want to share. If it's too long, it will warn you, and then you can choose a different selection, like I'm doing now. When you've chosen what you want to share, simply tap on the service at the bottom that you want to share it to. This is great for posting in stories on Instagram or Facebook, or for sending an iMessage to your contacts. I'm going to use Instagram now, and what you'll see is that will generate a card to go in my Instagram story with those lyrics and the song details on. I can then resize this, adjust this, add text and other things around it if I wanted to, but that's now ready to post. And when I share that, you can see straight away that's in my story on Instagram. People looking at my story can then tap on the link at the top to open that song in Apple Music. And the really nice thing about this, in my mind, is the background of your cards is automatically going to be based on the album artwork of the song that you've shared. So it will choose the colour scheme that matches, and it will create a really nice blurred background effect for you. It's a small feature, but it's a nice one, I think you'll agree. That's all from me for now. I hope you found this video useful. Please do like it and subscribe down below, and I'll see you in the next one.